Is the katana sharp enough to cut through bullshit? Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Myths, the series that finds the biggest myths that people actually believe and dispels them one by one. In today's installment, we'll be counting down the top 5 myths about samurai. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. These legendary warriors have inspired countless works of fiction in pop culture, but sadly such tributes have ultimately obscured the truth about these Japanese icons. Come along as we learn what truly lies under the samurai's mask. Spoiler, it's not Tom Cruise. Myth number 5, Bushido made them good guys. Important warning for any would-be time travelers. Just because a historical group had a code, doesn't mean they necessarily followed it. I'm your retainer. I follow a code. Known as Bushido, this code by which the samurai led their lives roughly translates to the way of the warrior. It had many of the same admirable yet lofty ambitions as the chivalric code, prioritizing justice, loyalty, duty, self-sacrifice, and so on. But the reality is, first and foremost, samurai were expected to carry out the instructions of their lord, and if that involved committing a few dishonorable acts, so be it. Ironically, samurai were also known to betray their lord for another if the pay proved better. They also had the right to kill any commoner they felt hadn't shown adequate respect. Myth number four, they led warrior lives. Alright, so you've always idealized samurai as virtuous warriors, and we've slightly tainted the virtuous part. At least their legendary prowess on the battlefield is inarguable, right? Well, not so much. None of us are samurai anymore. To be clear, the samurai were widely considered to be excellent warriors, but as we previously mentioned, samurai weren't just a type of soldier, but rather an entire social class. They weren't few and far between. In fact, they were many, at one point making up 10% of the country's population. <laughs> While it's nice to imagine them as depicted on screen slicing through their enemies, many samurai living in the peaceful periods were trained in the ways of the samurai, but led the life of scholars and bureaucrats. Myth number three, it was a male-only class. <laughs> Generally, when you think of samurai, you imagine men. But these warriors, also known as Bushi, had a female equivalent known as Onobu Geisha, who served the same role as samurai in times of conflict. They were true warriors expertly trained in the art of combat. In place of the katana, which is the archetypal weapon of the samurai in popular media, Onobu Geisha typically wielded a konaginata. A long pole with a curved metal blade on its tip, this weapon afforded these female combatants excellent reach and versatility against their often male enemies. Although they were nowhere near as common as their masculine counterparts, the exploits of the most famous among them, like Tamoe Gozen, were truly legendary. Myth number two, seppuku was only about honor. Also known as harikiri, this form of ritual suicide involving a short sword to the stomach allowed a samurai to regain his honor after being disgraced. <coughs> Although romanticized on screen, it wasn't performed whenever a battle was lost. The truth is, samurai weren't above retreating. When they did perform seppuku on the battlefield, it was usually a last resort, a way to escape capture and torture at the hands of their enemy. By putting this blade to my belly. For disgraced samurai sentenced to death, it was a practical matter. If they committed seppuku, their property would remain with their family. If they refused, it would be taken back to their lord. In some cases, it was even forcefully administered. Myth number one, the katana was always their weapon of choice. Unfortunately, the legendary samurai sword is a myth magnet. Despite popular beliefs, a samurai could put his sword away without spilling blood, and generally speaking could not effectively catch an enemy's katana mid-swing. Sword catch. Nonetheless, a katana is the iconic weapon of a samurai, and with good reason. It was a crucial status symbol, exclusive to samurai. They also tended to be very expensive. But they didn't use these blades as their exclusive weapon. Samurai were adaptable. They used longbows called yumis, spears called yaris, and naginata. They also knew not to bring a katana to a gunfight. 
they began using a firearm known as the Tanigashima as well as cannons in the 16th century. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.